nini? Siku moja huyu uwanja katuambiaje am? Kwetu kuna kiwanja kubwa. Akatuambia pana, si nyinyi wapate 250, muende mbai mood juni hapo kidhare tu. So daando gedhare, muna bai, muna kama mnauza. Na unaje ukiuza ikiwa bajo, ah inakuwa na customer wengi sana. So kabla uidunge maji, unaweza uza dabo. Mm. So tukaenda akatufundisha sasa kuuza hiyo kitu. Mm. Alianza na huyu anti yangu, so mm. tulia na kuambia kwetu kulikuja kukashika daando hapo face 2. Wasai wa mikromba. Kukashika mbaya sana. Mm. Eh hey, tulimekuwa pesa sana hapo. Kwanza sasa yako unauza vaju ujeka maji kwa hiyo utapata the price. Sasa baadaye tulijua gadil. Unaiongeza. Eh sasa ndio ongeza kodi kwa brand ni kwa mkabado pia zinaongezeka. So Mungu alinisaidia sana kwa sababu siku kunywa hiyo kitu. Asinge kuliuza tu. Hapana nilisaidi aunt yangu sana kuuza na tuliuza sana. Mungu alinisaidia sana 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 ni siku hiyo kitu. Wengi ni mwana wamekufa sana walikuwa gatu kuga nao dando. Wengi maisha yao ime haiko poa. Unaona? Kwa hiyo hiyo life tu. Mm. Lakini Mungu naye alikuwa na sababu yake. Sijui niwaambiaje. Mm. Kazini yangu walikuwa wameanza kwenda ga out. Mm. Unaona? Mm. Kwa clubs. Mm. So mtu yangu alipofikisha ga mwaka mmoja. Mm. Walini walinipata ga surprise. Wakanipeleka kwa club fulani inaitwa Jokagi. Mm-hmm. Jokagi ilikuwa ga uh, River Road chini. Mm. Uko chini kabisa River, River Road. Mm. Jokagi ilikuwa ga ya jamani inaitwa Jack Mali. Mm-hmm. Jack Male ni renowned gospel uh, gospel by the way ameokoka. Mm. Alikuwa ni big man sana kwa kwa reggae. Mm. Ah, Chris yes. Darling wote wametoka yeah. kwake. Mm. You know? Mm. By the way anafaa kuja hapa. Tutamget. Mm. Mm. Jack ako na story history kubwa sana ya music na mm. na, na, na more mm. about life za watu wengi sana. Mm. Jo alikuwa gani kama baba yetu kwa hiyo journey tulikuwa. Mm. So wakaninvite huko. Twende tulipoenda ugoko siku ya kwanza tulishika na makarao but mimi nilihepa hapa kamkunji tu si, lakini siko na noma ati ni noma kubwa ni vile tulipata gatu tao hapo tukibai ma feve unajua pia tulikuwa nakula veve juu ya tashike nini kila hiyo mm. area yote iko hivyo hizo vitu zile na gatu pamoja eh, so walinipata gatu kwa barabara wa, na watu na unajua watu kuna wale wanajua mimi siko najua historia tao mm. so watu walihepaga mimi nikabaki tu na maveve nikashikwa so watu wakitokaga pia mimi nilichomokaga na nikakimbia nikarudi kwa kuli kwa jokagis na nikaingia kwa club mm. So mpaka Ngware na tukurudigi tena huko. So mm. ujokagi ka transfer kendo Hollywood. Mm. Tao sa mm. Mokta Dada. Mm. Mm. So ile time ilienda huko siku ya kwanza Mokta Dada mm. tukiwa kwa, kwa kwa hall tulikuwa tunaimbaga. Reggae kiimbwa mnaimbaga juu ya mziki na sauti sana. Jack Mali hapo ndio alinionaga. Akakuja akauliza, "Eh hey, niaje? Hapa kuna mtu nimesikia sauti fulani fulani hapo hii ni sauti ya nani?" Mm. So sikuweza kuongea. Mm. Juu unajua reggae nayo hizo siku zilikuwa ni noma. Mm. Eh hii regia saa hizi ni regia mababi. Mm. Hizo regi za hizo za zamani zilikuwa tu za ma. Lakini Hollywood kulikuwa ni kwa mababi babi. Mm. You understand? Mm. So mtu mmoja akamwambia pana ni ude ndo alikuwa naimba. Mm. Taka akamwambia akaniambia hata sina noma. Nilikuwa na kuangalia tu nijue nimesikia nimefurahia sana sauti yako unaimba gapi? Yote sauti imeweza. Eh unaimba gapi nikamwambia mimi simbagi mahali. Mm. Akaniita. So mm. tulikuwa na tunaenda group. Mm. So wase wote wa daando tukatoka tukaenda pale ile side nyingine mm. akaniambia sana kunywa nini, tukamwambia nini, akaanza kuniambia kuna band, mm. ito Jambo Rebels band. Mm. Sasa hapo ndio life yangu ya music ilianzaga. Mm. Akwambia my friend, ingia ndani. Kuja. Come 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 vocalist my eh, friend. Mm. Kuja kufundisho sasa hapo ndio nilikaa nil, kidogo, then kazi yangu kanipelekaaga. So kwenda huko wakaanza kunifundisha kulikuwa na timu kubwa sana ambayo ili, ili, ili play part kubwa sana ya kuni, kunifundisha sana music sasa journey ya music live mm. music mm. so from there ndio tukaanza muziki mm. sasa Lady B akazaliwa hapo hapo ndio Lady B sasa alizaliwa sasa Lady B alitoka sasa kwa hiyo jina ya Lady B ju ule MC alikuwa maremu Manapolo mm. hako anaweza kusema jina Banis mm. so walikuwa na sim Banis Banis ah wakaikata ikakuwa ni B mm. sasa B lady mm. lady B katoka lady B katoka so that's how the name came about that's where the name came fantastic fantastic mm-hmm. so lakini sasa kutoka hapo sasa life ilikuwa ni life nyingine sasa mm. juu ni music sasa unajua sasa it's hapo ndo life yangu ikakuja na genre yenu sasa hii ni maraga tu reggae kabisa kwa mbaya hiyo area 
Ah nilikuwa mbaya. Ukishika mic ah, na inaenda kuenda. Eh, Daraja ni band. <laughs> ah, nilikuwa nilikuwa fine thank you. <laughs> fine thank you. Just kekele you came you saw you come. You come ah, come. Nilikuwa fine thank you. That was you. That was that girl. Uli usukuma mbaya. Yeah, yeah sana. Sana sana. Jambo Rebels band tuli sana. Sana tu yani sana. Mm. And uh, from there nika nikapata nikaanza kuimba unaona hii one man mm. one man mimi nilinga one man kama ime ni fresh imekuja juzi juzi wewe unaijua hizo siku eh nilikuwa nafanya one man nilikuwa nacheza crawl nilikuwa nacheza choices landmark hapa hivi mm. pizza garden mm. nilikuwa naimba ma sunday afternoon watu wametulia tu eh, na fridays yani na friday jioni mm, hivi kachoi thursday mm. friday nilikuwa naimba huko 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 wanakutafuta eh, tu come 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 shika kushika kapata bani nito weavers nikaimba nika na wao right hii hii time yote mtu yuko wapi mtu yuko kwa mada mtu yuko kwa mada so ile kitu nilikaga uh, venye nilianza ku make do nikachukua nyumba kayole hapo <laughs> tu nyumba ya kanisa <laughs> pia kuna watu wa kayole wewe <laughs> udev mungu amenitoa mbali <laughs> So kayole hapo hivyo uh, nika nika nikapata ga nyumba hapo kayole hapo tu nyuma ya church. Mm. Yeah, so nikakuwa na mtu wangu sasa nikaanza kuishi na yeye hapo. Mm. At least naweza ku, kulipa hao. Mm. Hao zilikuwa ga, I think tulikuwa lipa si ni 1500 ama ni 2000. Sasa ngoma zako gig zako unalipa. Ah, unalipa mtu yeye. Mm. Yaani nilikuwa by then niko poa, niko na kwa kweli. Eh, life imeanza sasa. Life imeanza. Mm. Sasa hapo ndio life. Sasa ndio huyo sasa na. Eh, hey, ameanza. Mm. By then ni kuambi kitu moja, unajua? Mm. Hiyo kayole unajua tukiwa tunaanza music tukiwa mm. tunaendelea sasa hiyo music sando nimeanza music ya as a musician kabisa mm. but nilianza kama as a backup singer mm. kwa Jack Mali Jack Mali alitoga muziki mm. na wakati alitoga muziki nilikuwa nataka kumuziga CD yake hiyo CD yetu mm. Afia Center mm. so Afia Center palikuwa na na ofisi ya Dr. Nyamo mm-hmm. ambaye ndio alikuwa anafanya ga Miss Kenya mm. Miss Kenya sasa ndio uki, ukipata show ya Miss Kenya oh, uko sawa uko tops mm. na huyu mzali alikuwa anapenda ga sana So nilikuwa gani nampeleka gasidi tukitoa CD nampelekea ananunua alikuwa anafurahi sana. Mm. So nilikuwa nakutana pia na wasanii mm. akina Red Sun kwa hii nilipata na gani nilipata sana. Nilipata na gani Chameleon hapo. Mm. Chameleon unajua hata kuwa gani hakuwa gani ndio alikuwa amekamkam nini na nini. Nashukuru sana pia kwa chance ya kuwa blessing kwake. Mm. Acha kuwa anajua kayole anajua bani anajua. <laughs> Anasema wewe ni sisi tangu huyo. Anajua, anajua. Kuna siku moja pia nilimsikia akishukuru ile time God alinipatia kuweza kumsaidia. Ah, uh, time nilikuwa na jama moja best yetu alikuwa ananipatia gatu do. Alikuwa anafanya kazi mahali fulani. Mm. Na sio alikuwa anatoa do. Do nzuri. Lakini wewe unapata yako. Ah, yatu rasmi. Safi lazima so, ingeti. So, akamili na alikuwa anaangukia pia hapo na hiyo. Alikuwa kama alikuwa pali pabaya. Umsendi anawaokolea. Alikuwa pabaya sana so nilikuwa napata nafasi ya kumba hata CDs. Mm. Alikuwa anapenda ga CDs za ya za huyu na nini? Bujibantu. Mm-hmm. Na kumbuka mm-hmm. kuna song alikuwa anapenda sana. Mimi ndo nilikuwa nambaiaga. Mm. But anyway, tukiosaka yole, God alinipatia ganjia ya kufunguka. Mm. Nilitengeneza gosho moja kubwa sana pale Madhouse mm. ile ilifunga. Ili, Madi. Eh Jack mm. alitengeneza gosho hapo mm. ya Lady B. Mm. Ikakuwa ni concert poa sana. Nicheza mm. na bandi nitoa uh, big matata mm-hmm. so kwa hiyo band mm-hmm. jama fulani ni tole sasa joka mm-hmm. akanione hapo mm-hmm. yeye yeah, alikuwa na band yake ya bila inge muzika ndio ya lingala ilikuwa namba 1 huko Kenya mm-hmm. so walikuwa wamepata contract ya Dubai mm-hmm. sasa ilikuwa ni 2000 mm-hmm. 2001 ndio contract ilivaga so nilitokaga nikaenda ga nje dubs life ka change tena ukaishia dubai ah, sasa sasa unaona sasa tukaanza level tunaanza kucheza ma international yao international, international. Yes. local league hiyo umemalizana nayo mad pose international yes. ndio sisi ya dubai mm. tumeland sasa so, kama ni pesa ni your life yote hakuna kitu tujafanya so in dubai you are doing concerts or what what exactly were you doing in dubai, dubai i was singing in a club right. kulikuwa na african the, the biggest african club the number one band ilikuwa ni yetu. Mm. By the way governor wa Machakos uh, Alfred Mutua pia alikuwa na Kamigio place. Mm. Alikuwa anatusaidia sana. Ni best uh, hata huyo. Mheshimiwa. Msalimie kamera kando hiyo. Ashukuru Mungu sana kukuona mali huko leo na hiyo time vile alikuwa. God amemtoa pia mali. Anajua mali mlikuanga naye huko. Yeah, mm. walikuwa na Kamigio to support right. to Uh, hiyo time tulikuwa huko hiyo ndio place at least ungekupata African music right. unaweza pata Kenyan and, and so forth right. na African people walikuwa nakuja kwa hiyo club so imagine kila siku tulikuwa na imbaga daily you used to perform every single day every single day so hiyo siku lazima ulikunywa so nikukunywa kila siku 
Ramadhani ilikuwa one month. So kama mnaingia mliingia December because kama ni November, Ramadhani ilikuwa na November, October, November. Mm. So it's only one month break mnakuja Nairobi, mnarudi. Mm. So we imagine the rest of the time the rest of the time every day every you day, have a performance you have a performance and for you to sustain it lazima uwashe lazima ju unajua ni mwili then you know the from 9 to 3 3 in the morning in the morning so 4 5 6 hakuna vile mtakao mbelala ju unajua lazima muwashe nini mzuka nini kabla mlale ni saa 8 ah saa 2 asubuhi saa moja. Then you have to wake up maybe saa tano mkule breakfast saa sita, saa nane, saa saba saa nane muingie mazoezi ndio mtizi ya jioni tizi ya jioni mm. get ready for mm. mazoezi mm. saa saa kumi, saa kuna moja muoge tena bura nuru tena yani it was just a circle so it was a roller coaster hii ilikuwa tu hivi day in day out I'm telling you how long did you sustain this Nine years for nine straight years Nine straight years so no the peer i wanted to recover what i had lost you understand and sometimes in life you think that uh, Um that's why I was telling first of all I was saying about knowing who you are mm. and the best thing is just to be saved. Mm. If you just find Jesus. I was like waste time because me ni kiangalia gele life ni me waste. Kwanza you take your place your life ya Dubai. Ah hii ni kiangalia ga muziki ga tena. Lakini nashukuru tu Mungu kwa sababu najua mtu wangu hata pitia hiyo life. Na wengine ule ambaye anakuwa na masikio na haezi kusikia aizi kupitia because that is waste you need waste through life so you went with your daughter to dubai no 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 you left her here i left her here so you used with to come mom. and see her once in a while once in a month oh, so you time you are to come to once once every month you used to come no 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 once only one month he time ya ramadhani only only the rest of the time hamuonani hamuonani So in effect you didn't manage to raise your daughter at that point in time no 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 you were just sending the money not quite no, spending no, no. time with her uh-uh. How did that impact her? Ah, uh, but the the best thing is that my mom rona tena madhe tena. Tunarudi kwa madhe tena. Eh, hey, madhe. Madhe noma. Because unajua yeye ni mama hata Mungu tu alijua tu mimi singemlea. Sasa ningemlea na ni nini ningemlea ya maana pale ningemuonesha. But unasa kuleo na mama alileo na foundation ya kujua life. Heshima, yani ile ile life madhe alikuwa anataka alipate ga mtu wangu. Because hata ukimwangalia she is very different very different ali yani amelewa home na madhina buda na ndio maana mpaka alimaliza shule akafika mpaka university bila scandal bila nini yeah I mean, a different path a different path youthful life yake na yako are two different things kama jogoro dunatika ro azipatani hata ta hata ta azipatani wow you know and i thank god because also sometimes still i could regret but sa zingine muka gaif chini nafikiria tu sana you know unajua kwa nini nilitoka gani nilienda kwanza hii dubai hii time tulikuwa ngo unajua madem inakuwa ngumu sana kwenda studio ku record ngoma mm. na by then ku record ngoma ilikuwa saa mbili ilikuwa ni ngumu sana hata upate pesa ya kwenda kupata chance ya kwenda ku record kwa ugopa ilikuwa ni shida na ndio sasa music zimeanza tunasikia na kuambia mambo ya kina kabila ndio sasa music ya kenya watu wameanza kutoa toma muziki lakini sasa kupata hiyo do kuenda ku record ni ngumu sa eda ulale na mtu tatso nakuta ga wasena wengi wanaisha sio wengi wanachipukaga mm. because wengi ni wale wana kuwa exploited mm. unaona wale ambao watajijua watajiamini hawa watoboagi ama producer wana produce hapo wana mix na wana wa gather them na wana wa chomo pita nao eh unaona so hiyo ni kitu nilikuwa nimekataaga nikajuaga hii lazima tu nitafute do zangu So nilienda huko nikangangana kabisa ya hasolia yako yote yani make sure that nita make muziki yangu so nilikuwa na, na kam hiyo time nilikuwa naanza kufeel niko ready nilipata ga dr ed so nikaanza kufanya muziki mm. na kuja home na record na kuja home na record ndio nikakujaga nikamaliza album yangu ya kwanza nilipokuwa ready kabisa niliresign ni job dubai nikakuja sana nikaungana na kina nonini mm. nikaingia genge muka enda kuchapa hiyo nayo yes But before you came back man if you think about your nine years how would you describe that phase of your life yani that's a waste of life waste of energy waste and there were nine prime years yani because you were still a very young girl waste kabisa waste waste because even i didn't enjoy that kind of life so you enjoy your moment 
mwili ilikuwa imechoka yani i was ni slavery ilikuwa tu ni slave ndio tulikuwa tunapata vizuri sana lakini unajua kama upata do bila hauna vision yote ni do mimi nilikuwa nanunua kiatota ya tao moja dola and to right yeah unaingia tu shop unanunua kiatu na do ziko ukipata leo usiku kitapiga kuna mwizi atakuwa amepiga do zake huko atakuja atawapatia mabonza atawa nini na kama show moja mimi usiku moja naweza patata 500 do, 5500 euro tip do zilikuwa basi sasa hakukuwa na yani tulikuwa mmoja nilinda huko nikiwa naive niko uh, excited sijaijua mambo ya life kama hiyo sikuwa nilikuwa mdogo yani ah uka explore kila kitu ah jamii na hasira na na, na, hii, na hii dunia sana ya hii shetani mtu yote ambaye mimi napataga nafasi ya kuongea naye na jua gani god atamu waste na god atakubali generation yetu iwestiwe because that's waste of life na unajua mtu akiwa saizi hii age uko saizi pengine uko 19 uko 18 uko 20 21 una feel ni kama uta remain that age kwa hii time yote because i'm saizi life is me change watu wanajipata wako kwa my instagram kwa social media they don't care as long as uko na likes 1000 una hit 1 million sijui uh, subscribers sijui whatever one day utakuja kukaa chini hivi na utakumbuka gaizo time ni waste na kitu sadness ni time awezi recover ikienda imeenda ikienda imeenda time is very precious kwa watu that we mwenye kama uwezi kutekea the that time because imagine kama mimi nilikuwa kwa 2012 paka saa hizi vitu zile nime achieve watu wale ambao wameokoka life zile zime change restoration ile god amefanyia watu ambao nimepatana na wao ni amazing but sometimes sitaka ku regret ni sema yani na feel vibaya because nilitumika by the way sana hiyo club nilipiga muziki alafu unajua madem tulikuwa tunafungiwa because when you flower hiyo ukitoka toka nje watu wataku watachoka na wewe so mimi siko natoka ga nje kutoka pale nje ni security for nine years imagine so ukitoka ni kwenda shopping hakuna ah, free tu hata uwezi learn hauwezi jua uwezi you cannot do anything apart from just music ndio kuna vile tulikuwa wayang bado ungejifundisha laptop uende computer classes ufanye vitu but ilikuwa ni wewe pombe sigara kulala kuimba hivi sako lilikuwa hivyo sako lilikuwa hivyo years for nine years oh. sometimes we just have to unatafuta pesa but life is more than money life is more than money money is not everything no no life is everything Because like right now there are some people who have money but no have life. Hiyo pesa tuna chase. That's a easy mtu yote anaweza fanya kitu yote bila nataka kama unataka kukaa uchi. Bora tu umepata pesa kwa sababu sasa hizi YouTube inatengeneza pesa ama Instagram utapata pesa ama utapata unafikiria hiyo pesa ni ya maana zaidi ya maisha ile wa Mungu amekupatia. But you know the reason is that because you don't know yourself. Mm. So you don't know even why God created you. Mm. And the saddest thing is that if mti iko na purpose that muti muti tu yani muti iko na maana hata cactus tree iko na maana iko na maana sasa wewe so ni maana zaidi oh you see let it be when i do not know that yes then i'm subject to abuse i'm telling you miles more not used to say where purpose is not known huh? abuse is inevitable that's true that's true you came so, back so when i came back na i joined akina nonce na tukaanzisha na tukaendelea sana nikaendelea kuingia akiwa kwa genge na msuali kutukua juu sana ni magenge love manini hapo hapo sasa level na je mengi level na nada ni eh kali tamba uko nako you see the way journey yani it's a it's a it's a journey it's a journey right yes it's a journey it's a journey right oh my god but you see now sometimes when i think about my journey i thank god so much because of the testimony that he has given me but again i also When I see like someone like Ruth Wamoyo's right, life. Right. You understand? Right. I thank God also because of her life and I say if you understand yourself earlier. Njia yako inakuwa rais sana. Imagine yani kama ningekuwa nimejua njia tu vizuri hata ningefata vile maadhi alikuwa niambiaga tu vizuri. Mm. Unaona? Ningekuwa mahali gani leo? But again uh, lady B man I think all these things that you went through 
were for someone else also to learn. Sometimes I, I feel like crying because I don't like saying that it was for someone else. You know, if you say there was for someone else, that's why you see sometimes many of us do that. Wana kwambia ati ah mimi sita kwa wewe usulimaliza yako acha pia mimi nifanyie kitu. Time yangu ikifika pia mimi nitaokoka. You understand? Mm. I know it is for the purpose of many, but again also we can also avoid that. Absolutely. Because I don't have to pass through this right. so that someone else can can, can learn from mm. me. Mm. Because even 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 some other person's life mm. who is better from the word go alianza maisha yake vizuri. Pia yana ushuhuda ya kwamba you can you can abstain. You can live right you can, all the way. Yes, you Absolutely. can. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't have to be like on the other side. Yep. Ati ndio uonekane wewe unataka kufundisha watu wengine mm, maisha mm. yet there is also a life that you can live mm. better life a more life. purposeful life a more, a more purpose. purposeful yes. life right right and you enjoy this life right right no right. oh, you're right you're right si lazima sasa hivi uoneshane mwili wako uoneshane ndio ukwe no 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 kabisa we've seen ladies who are impactful who are youthful mm. who are still living this life mm. and making impact in people's lives mm. na wakui uchi mm. Ju akuna ga like 1000 na mbinguni una kitu ko zero. The wages of sin is death. That is the in thing. Let mm. me tell you one thing. Mm. And if your life is just a waste, the devil ana upendo na mtu yote. Mm. The devil can only three things to do in this life. Mm. Kill, steal and destroy. Mm. He wants to kill your passion, kill what God has planted in you, kill the purpose you were created mm. for. Mm. Kill everything. Any devil you kopale kudiswana ubeste na by the way devo ni kila kitu lakini si fala mm. kila kitu ni devo lakini de- the devil is not mujinga si fala anajuaga na bible inatuambia vizuri sana yani kimbia flee from all these things mm. be wise know that god has created you for a purpose it doesn't matter what you're going through because me i thought maybe I was supposed to be doing this so that I may save this. But when I got saved I realized that I am not the savior. Jesus is the savior. Mm. You cannot save the whole world. Mm. What you have right now is what you have. Mm. What you can do right now is what you can do. So ile kitu uwezi kufanya sasa hizi usifanye. So na hiyo time nilikuwa nafikiria ati nikitoka sana nikaenda Dubai nitaanza kuja kufanya muziki yangu peke yangu. But siko najua kuna gharama lazima nilipe. Na umelipa gharama kali. Tena gharama kali sana. Lakini tena unknowingly. Well. Tell me Lady V, when did it change and how did it change for you? I, I see I see you very angry about it. But again, you no know, thank God. Yeah. That he came through. Yeah. Before it was too late. Mm. And today you have a different yeah. testimony altogether. Yeah. But again, uh, while I agreed, I mean, we don't have to go through it. That's true. But however, now that you have gone through it, because <laughs> right. unfortunately, we can't undo your nine years a little bit. <laughs> I know you sit back and you say, wish, I wish I could undo the nine years. But we can <laughs> Unfortunately, we cannot. The most we can do with it mm. is actually to allow someone else now. Yeah. And, and secondly, today you then say this out of conviction because mm. you know what you've been through. Mm. And now you know better. Mm. And because you know better, you must do better. Absolutely. You must just do better. But yes. I hope also then uh, to our viewers out there, man. You know, sometimes we do these things because we see, we would see in a lady be on television and mm. we say that is the life mm. and uh, nin, nin, nin. here is one who's been through it, man. And mm. hear her words, man. She's telling you, having been there, done mm. that, there's a better way. There's a better way. There is a better way. There is. And you you better pick the better way in good time. I'm telling before you, you waste your youthful days. I, I, yeah, and you can be impactful without being nude. You know, today's generation, it almost looks like for you to be impactful, you've got to be nude. Yes. And do all sorts of crazy things. Yes. But she says, man, it doesn't have to be that way, man. Mm. You can impact without going through those parts. Yes. I'm curious, uh, Lady B. So, at what point? At what point then? Do you know when I when, when we were in Dubai, there, yep. was, there was one girl who, who used to be a, a dancer because we were a band, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we were going dancers, and we were going to mm. So that one dancer came back to Kenya, and uh, she got saved. So she used to go to church. Right. She, she had that uh, now at least uh, familiarity with church and salvation. So mm. me, wakati nili nilipo kuna kujio one month alikuwa ananiambia ah niaje to the church mm. 
Singezaka kuenda ka church do. And um nilipo join ngi sasa nilipokuja kasa hiyo after after 9 years when I joined nika join uh, wagenge tukaanza mziki sasa vibaya sana tena imeshika kwanza yani ilikuwa imeshika mbaya kana tamba kuta ah ilikuwa safi <laughs> safi tu tsidaka yani safi tu le ilikuwa safi kabla kama liza bibi jo ila ila It's always good to understand to 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 remember to what, back also. Yes, yeah. and just and thank God for for we are life. You know the Bible says that <laughs> better a dead a, a, a dog that is alive. A living dog than a dead than lion. A dead lion. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> At least you're alive and you're living to the back. Ba woo woo woo. You know this this too is happening. Yeah, that can't see but like you know. Kweli kabisa. Yeah, it's so true. So life is very precious and yo wakati yani jo hiyo ni story tena nyingine yani ya wagenge na Josa mimi ndio nilikuwa eh ndio yule nilikuwa dem katikati ya wanaume ambao ni ni powerful lazima pia uwe uwe juu uko tu hapo uwe kichwa ngumu zaidi mm. na shukuru god sana kwa godfather ndio nini but unaona nilimwambia kaka kuna god the father yes jesus christ yeye yeah, mwenyewe ambaye anatupenda sana kabisa ambaye kuna purpose kubwa sana kwa kila mmoja wetu right. ambaye alikufa ili tupate uzima na uzima kwa utele ambaye yani alijitoa yeye mwenyewe mm. ili si tusianganye. Mm, mm. Naona? Alipatia na life yake. Yaani alipatia na life yake. Wewe usi lost. Usi safe na usikuwe wasted. Wow. Alikuwa wasted. Oh live. Na ile kitu tunanibambaga ni ati at he came that we may have life and, and have life in abundance. Hiyo kitu unibamba sana. Yani it is exact opposite of that other kingdom. Like you just said, yes. the enemy comes to steal, kill, kill and destroy. destroy. Mm. But God comes that you may have life and life in abundance. Can you imagine now is that the enemy comes to steal, kill and destroy. That. Mm. But Jesus came that you may have life and life and life in abundance. That that Let me be, it's, it's, it's very interesting this is you saying this because when you think about it i mean you have been in that world yeah completely to its depths yeah hey nilo men been there got the t-shirt and done it got the t-shirt ana kuna vitu mob za hapo yani it's a big yani ni story tu kubwa yani the sad thing is that so many people you know hata buda mtu wangu alidedigi by the way alian kwa kwa club ju fourth floor akiwa gauge Sijui alirushwa, sijui alifanya gwa nini, si tuliona gatu kwa gazeti. Hiyo time simu simu anzikufuaga. Madha alikuja gaka ninesha kwa gazeti. Wewe ulikuwa Dubai that, that time. Hapana nilikuwa bado Kenya sikuwa nimeenda bado. But then what was the relationship between him and the, the daughter? No, now the relationship had started because now um John alikuwa mpata job. Alikuwa ameshaambia Madha kwanza now mm. he's ready now to take care of responsibility of his responsibilities, mm. you know, mm. mm. But suddenly tulijua gatu yani ali ali yangu kaka kutoka fourth floor so did you guys live together no 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 he just used anachunga anaangalia mtoi eh sasa alikuwa saidia nyoro na mimi nilikuwa ga amisa ningekana mtu sasa hii sasa hiyo sasa hiyo nilikuwa ga all this is like you see i mean na do independent woman you kusema independent woman independent woman do yako unatengeneza talanta unatembeza ma stage ni zile jo hustling yako rai yako you know but you see All that is just because of lack of knowledge. Yeah, and you know, nashukuru God sana kwa hiyo kikundi pia kwa hiyo time. Kina Bonae, kina Gabu, Frasha, yani ni family ile kwa familia yangu ya. Mm, mm. Na nashukuru sana because that was a moment that God alitaka nikuwe hapo pengine siku moja pia watakuja kuniona. Wajue kuna maisha zaidi ya hii maisha. Na wajue kwamba yani God alitucreate hiki kwa bigger purpose na kwa life yetu jo tukua tunajua gana tupenda. Mm and that hakuna situation god has to change mm. na hakuna mse ambaye yuko deep that christ has to come to mm. nilipoka hiyo time yote wewe best yangu ndo alikuja kaka ni invite siku moja church so venye alinyalikaga church singeza kuenda kwa sababu alikuwa ameniambia christmas ndio wako na church alafu hakuweza kukuwa na hiyo church service ya christmas akaniambia sawa so, me postpone itakuwa 31st na hiyo 31st nilikuwa supposed kuenda kwenda 
Mombasa Nikona gig because huko. most of the time hiyo ma 31st lazima tukoe Mombasa ma gig mm. za kuruka mwaka ai hata zinazitashika mbaya ndio hey. <laughs> ajisikia hata tarehe 3 ndio unamkaga hey, happy new year yani tuko tuko wapi hey. ai kalikuwa kanashika tulikuwa poa tulikuwa poa tu yani sikuwa na reason yote ya kufikiria god and bless because you are blessing yeah. sometimes mtu anafikiria gani iko kwa hiyo situation huko saa hizi uko na gari mm. uko na pesa mm. uko na mali mambo mm. zina flow mm. Mm. so unaona god account inacheza vizuri hey. unajua huu umebarikiwa hey, mambo zinaenda poa so kwa mm. nini mimi struggling no 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 so you are working out they are working out and in your industry it is working your is working. Of the yes industry. so at that point in time as far as you're concerned you're blessed you're blessed and you're okay you're very okay So you can't see anything at at ya hii see ya god. So you are too blessed to even require to need god now. Ai, no no no. Ndio amekupatia everything eh. you need. Sasa hata unamsahau. Uwezi unamsahau. Hayuko kwa mik. Ah ah. Si tare na cheza background. Yeye ana yeye ndo anilindaga. Sasa kuna wasi anga you are too blessed for your own good. <laughs> too blessed for your own good. Because now at that point in time god unamsukuma background. Eh. Job yake ni background. Eh. Asijaribu kukuja hapa safi sasa uh-huh. huko nyuma huko. Au uh-huh. tukana nagi. Na so tu unafikiria by the way ni effort yangu tu. Mm. There is nothing about God hapa. Mm. Hii ni sisi tumehaswa. Mm. After all tunachapanga tizi, eh. tumeenda tumetafuta ma contract eh. na nini nini nini. So this is not even about God. Hii ni effort yetu. Eh. Na kama ni effort yako jo God anasaidia. Wow. So there is no way unazambia mtu atisaidie ati aokoke. Anaokoka kutoka kwa nini yani for example? anaokolewa anaokolewa nini sasa yeye yeah, ameshikilia wase wengine eh sasa anaokolewa nini tena shida ninaokolewa from where <laughs> and nonje sasa kwanza mandoa ndio nilikuwa sasa sasa hiyo ndio nilikuwa kama ndio otero you know i was addicted by the way na nilikuwa na addiction by singeka lazima uvute ah lazima hata kama hata nikienda siteta au zamani niende kwa wapi hata wapi Yaani lazima nipige moshi mbili tatu angalau sasa ni tulie. Tukuwe sawa. Mm. How did you get out of that addiction buddy? Sina kuambia Jesus. Eh hey, who Jesus amekufanya mtu mmoja? Ah. No masa. Who Jesus man? Mimi singekuwa. Singekuwa. Do you mean nini watu wengi sana vile life yao mama beste zangu wale tulikuwa gana wao unajua? Kuna power kwa blood ya Jesus. Twende kwa hii transformation ili kujia wapi? So ume invite wa church au kwenda? Sasa nikaimbia church. Yes hiyo 2050 sikuenda. Alafu unajua hiyo 2012 nilikuwa na album nilikuwa sana launch. Mm. Nilikuwa na album moto. Unajua nilikuwa nimevuka mpaka boda. Hii sasa ni single, solo. Single. Nilikuwa nimepiga piga single kadhaa. Sasa lakini nilikuwa nimesha nimesha combine sasa ni album. Mm. Uko tayari kuangusha. Ai mbaya. Tesa tesa tesa. <laughs> sasa Tati fast hub sasa yangu kaniambia ah sasa hizi kuna nini? Hiyo ni 2011 sasa. Mm. 31st. Akani mm. imagine sasa hizi kuna kuna service ya 31st ya kuruka mwaka. Mm. So come. Ai, ngashindo church. Eh una jamii ya mapasta jo yani unajua nilikuwa na shindo. Tutaanza wapi? Mimi mwenyewe ghost pastor, pastor tunapelekana wapi? Mtu wa usiku usiku hapa kule hapa kule one touch. Usiku sako chair lady ndio huyu jo. Sasa unatakwambia church maze ai maze. Ube sangu alini for sana akakuwa persistent sana lazima tuende kitu unajua that's why mimi napenda sana hata kwa, kwa god kupatia wisdom ya kutengeneza show kama hii mm. because sometimes mtu hawezi jua ile kitu ako nayo mm. mpaka mtu mwingine amwambie mm. unajua unajua ni kweli 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 hiki tu unaambio leo from me show tunaongea leo mm. ni kitu ambacho pengine uko unaweza kuifikiria mm. but unaweza isikia na kwa sababu umesikia kutoka kwa mtu mwingine ukakaa ukaka, ukaka, ai by the way una reflect una, una reflect na swali mbili tatu yeah. yes oh best yangu aliona kitu kwangu mm. lakini hakuwa anajua gani nini pia mm. na alinipenda gatu hivyo vile nilikuwa god sometimes watu wakiokoka wengine wanaona gawa watu wengine wakiwa wanahitaji Yesu zaidi ya vile yeye yeye alikuwa anahitaji hakuna mtu ahitaji Yesu mm. sisi wote sisi wote ni wahitaji wa Yesu kabisa sisi wote and is available to all of us Now, the, the first the, the saddest thing is that hakuna mtu yote ako na atishuariti ya mbinguni mm. ni neema mm. yule mlango ah itakuwa iko eh. neema tu 1gb <laughs> mnasema gani wewe hii nafikiri ni kuota gb yani itakuwa ni stretch <laughs> inabidi unaji hmm? ndio ndio uweze kuingia njia ni nyembamba mm. ndio sasa hivi umeokoka kama unafanya mambo mbaya njia ni nyembamba mm. kuingia pale itakuwa ngumu mm. so 
Usifanye pia maisha ya watu wengine wa wale ambao wajokoka ukweni ngumu mm. waone ni kama wao wafai. Mm. Ama hawawezi. Ama hawawezi. Mm. Kwa sababu even disqualify them. Hey, si wewe unawawezesha. Mm. Kuna si wewe unaokoa. Na si wewe unaokoa. Ni Mungu anaokoa bwana. Yeah. Damu ni yake si wetu. Damu ni yake. Damu ni yake si wetu bwana. Nakwambia. Ni yake. Ni yake. Na imetosha. Na idea ilikuwa ni yake. Eh ni yake. Si yako. Kabisa. So when you have nothing to do with nothing. Hata wewe ulikuwa unahitaji wokovu kama hao wengine. Ai tena sasa tena unahitaji. Kabisa. Kwa sababu mpaka tufike so utuache Mungu akue Mungu. Ai acha bwana. Na usijifanye Holy Spirit. Wacha Mungu abaki Mungu. Na usijifanye Holy Spirit. Wacha Holy Spirit afanye kazi yake. Kabisa. So Udema alijua hiyo kitu sana. Na naona tu. Na na mimi nilikuwa nakwambia siku anaweza kukaa bila ndo. Hata mm. church. Hiyo mm. siku niliendaga. Ni Mungu tu. Na tena kulikuwa na mziki mob sana poa. Sikupata nafasi ya kwenda kupiga ndo. Mm. Wakati tulifika church hiyo usiku, best time usiku tu saa saba sana. Satano sa, sa ine satano usiku anza kuniambia mazuna kafiti. Ah, nasuna na kafiti. Na nilikuwa na kafiti ndio lakini mm. siko na expect aniambie usiku mm. na kafiti. Mm. Kumbe yeye hiyo usiku kwa chachi yao mtu yote na, alikuwa anapewa nafasi ya kuimba. Mm. Ya kuambia tu God asante. Mm. Kasi yana jamii na imbaga. Mm. So alienda kaandikisha jina yangu. Mm. So yeye alikuwa ananiambia na kafiti anipatie moral. Ndio by the time na confidence yeah. by the time naitwa yeah. niko na jua tu niko sawa kwa kuwa kwa hiyo environment. Right. Because unajua na jua environment zako umetoa ni watu tofauti. Eh na pia mimi si si environment yangu mm. na sisi imba hapa church. Mm. Unajua? Mm. So tulikaa tukaanza kuagi. Jua niliambia unajua nini? Nimeandikisha jina yako kwa utaenda kupaka mko. Ah nikaanza kumwambia Zai. Naimba nini? Sina wimbo unaimba ile ukumbuki ile wimbo ya Chibalonzo ulikuwa unapenda kuimba nini nani naambia hapana Mimi na Jo Lingala by the way Uko place ulikuwa na ile band ulikuwa naimba na uko Dubai mm. so nililani nililani nili, 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 uh, Lingala mm. akani bili wimbo ya Chibalonzo ya Lingala hivi nini na hiyo church pili kwa na Wakongo hiyo church tuliendaga hiyo mm. ya so ai nikapo tukaanza kuagi akaniambia lakini wewe mimi nakushangaa hii album unatoa mpya Sigondo amekupatia tu hiyo sauti. Hasa leo ukiamka upate hiyo sauti yakuna. Si leo amekupatia tu nafasi umwambie tu asante. Mshukuru na hiyo sauti. Si kitu kubwa. Huo mm. best yangu aliyagiugi na mimi. Paka nikamwambia sawa. Umekubali. Nimekubali. Time ikafika. Ukaitwa. Pasta Jimmy akaniita. Eh, nikaita nikachukua microphone. Mimi nikamwambia ukweli nikamwambia mimi yenyewe mimi sijaoko. Na mimi ni first time yangu hata nikuwe church. Kwa miaka sijui hata ninaoniambia miaka ngapi. Sikumbuki nikiingia church in many years. Kwanza 31st yes. kuruka mwaka mm. niko kanisani. Hii mm. ni ndoto. Mm. Kama najijua. Mm. Na ndio first time yangu kukuwa niko soba. Kusoba mahali usiku kesha. Vuka mwaka. So they were like, what? Huu ni nani amekuja hapa hivi leo? Kuna wale wale nununika, kuna wale wale wana hiyo madhabahu imekuwa defiled but God alikuwa na papasi yake. Mm. Na nilipotoka tukamaliza ku, 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 nilimba ile song. Yeah, ilikuwa, ilikuwa, ah, ilikuwa noma za sana. Na mimi nikamwambia mimi jumia atasikuwa na jobambo hiyo. Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. Hizo mm. vitu sikuwa nimeshika mm. shikara mm. hiyo. Mtumishi mwenye aliamka hapo akiongea apostle Hosea akasema, "Wewe kuna msana mmoja hapa aliimba. Huo msana anaitwa nani? Lady nani? Wakatafuta madem watu wengi sana waliimba. Mm. Ndio ah lady. Ah yes. That you. You mimi nikasimama. Mm. Akasema utakuwa great woman. Mm. Utaimba mziki uta inaweza eh you going to do wonders. Ah nikamwambia mzee asante jo. Strong eh, strong. Eh. Sio kwa album yangu. Eh. Una shika ile album ndio ah, kulo bana. Ni kuchafua kuchafua. Kabisa. Ai wagenge watafurahia. Mm. You know? Na nikaenda ga home tukatoka tulikuwa na dota wangu na na kazini yangu na tukaenda ga home na obest yangu tukaenda tukamaliza ilikuwa ni January wiki ya kwanza. Hii wiki ya kwanza ya pili ube sema akanipigia akaniambia unajua ni aje pasi na kutafuta mm. pasi anatafuta kwani nimefanya nini <laughs> nilikuwa na noma ile siku na kwani kuli akanishwa pana ni pasi mpo anana naoma anataka kubonga na wewe anataka tu kubonga na wewe sasa ndio tukaenda ga tukaanza kwa gina yeye hivi hivi vitu akaniambia pana mpatie tu namba yako Nikamwambia pana wewe mpatie. So alimpataga namba yangu Pastor Lemi mm. akanipigia ga simu. Mm. Nakumbuka ile ilikuwa gani January tarehe 12. Mm. Akanipatia gadeti hiyo January tarehe 12. Hiyo ilikuwa before sasa alinipataga tukutane na yeye January tarehe 12 church. Mm. Nikaendaga. Kufika huko church wakanipa soda nini ndio sherehe sherehe nikashindwa sherehe. Unajua? But 
akaniambia sio mimi hata nakutafuta huyu mama ambaye alikuja walikuwa wametoka Kongo yeye na hazi yake akaniambia aka hakulala amekuwa holy spirit amekuwa namsumbua kwa tabi yako ah unajua mimi hata sijui mambo ya holy spirit ai holy spirit anamsumbua kwa sababu yake kitu yangu nini kwa nini huyo holy spirit ni nani kwanza ni udes who is that naomba iko wapi iko noma ka iko noma aseme tu wewe akaniambia ngoja tu sijali kidogo kidogo mada akaingia mama fedha shamamba yeye huyu mama alikuwa ganisa kila artist hizo siku za kina Bill nini nini yeye pia sasa alikuwa ganisa sasa bad girl mm. kwa hizo enzi mm. wale kwa naimba gawa kiwa gauchi mm. what mm. kwa kamponyaga na akamuokoa na akamuinua sana mtumishi wa Mungu so huyu mama alikuja na mapicha na ushuhuda yake akaniingiza kwa ofisi kama vile nakushuhudia leo story inakuwa interesting man vile vile una yani ushaona story yako hivi because god hawezi kutumia kitu ambayo haikuhusu au huwezi ku hauelewi hau mm. because unajua sio rahisi kwenda kuhubiria mtu ambaye we mwenyewe uje hivi utabangi uende mm. kuhubiria mtu ambaye utabangi ama anakutabangi hamuelewani mm. ama utoke hapo uende kuongelesha mdema amezoea kukua uh, mm. hamuelewani but god alitumia that's why alikuwa anatumia kina pita na wambia, I will najua mnachukua gafish but i want to make you great now mm. i want you to make i want to make you fishers of men mm. let's take it to the next level another level mm. so god alikuwa anajua akitumia mtu mwingine mimi sitaelewa mm. sitaelewa so, aliku bring ya mtu ana connect mali umekuwa pali niko life yako pali tu niko kabisa na ile change god anaweza nipatia yani unamsikiza unajisikia ai unajua at every point ai Umama ali ni ubiriaga ali nipatega tu ushuhuda unajua that's why ushuhuda ni very powerful mm. if you have a testimony don't keep your testimony share it out share it out mm. the bible says he who has a testimony he who has a son has a testimony mm. and by the power of our testimonies we overcame mm. through the blood of jesus absolutely the, the the victory we have is through the testimonies that we give that's why right. because if you don't testify that means that god has not given you anything or mm. done anything and you to deny you. that other person the opportunity That's true. of just getting to connect with it mm. and just getting to know what can be, what is possible what is and possible? what god is able to do yes absolutely david had to testify to Saul mm. that god did this to me before nilirarua kupitia nguvu god nilirarua mdomo wa nani testimony is encouraging you to sana sana and i can relate with your journey that's true so ukajiona tu ivi akaniambia kila yani aliniambia akaniambia mapicha ndio hizi mimi ndio huyu ndio hizi ndio hivi ndio hivi ndio hivi ndio hivi ndio hivi life yake inakaa yako tu kabisa akaniuliza unataka kumpokea huyu Yesu kwa sababu hiyo ndio kitu Mungu amenileta hapa nifanye Yesu anakutaka Yesu anataka kukutumia Yesu anataka kukubadilisha hai siku anaelewa hizo lugha kwanza nikiangalia hivi nifikiriani wagenge mziki vile kameshika machali zangu kwa walikuwa wengi jo <laughs> pesa pap pesa shwari ja mzee hey, wote lazima tu ni waache jo wewe chapa hiyo hesabu na na haya bana kwanza na kama hata nikafikiria kwanza tulie sio raisi jusa hiyo kameshika jo kameshika kila kitu imekubali kila kitu imekubali hapo ndio sasa kabla yani hiyo life yote nimekaa yuko na hiyo sasa ndio naanza ku ku recover Alafu sasa leo unaanza kurecover ndio unaambua story za Yesu hapa hey. bana. Shiro ni haja. Mimi leo hii story kabisa. Alafu unajua nilikuwa tu ni pap. Yaani eti umetaka kuokoka. Aje sasa. Kuokoka kwanza ni nini? Eh, na ukoka kutoka from where? From where? Mimi niko sawa, mka mtambo bwana. Mimi niko tu sawa. Ah nikaambia mother jo mzee, mam. Mimi yenyewe mimi jo mi iko hivi, niko ni hivi, niko na hivi. Yaani nilimpata ya maproblem zangu zote yani justification yote ya vile siwezi okoka kwa sasa. We wacha tu niende kwanza nimaliza na hizi maneno then nitakuja kuokoka. Siku unajua kwamba God hataki wewe uende ubadilike ndio ukunje. Yeye ndiye anakubadilisha. Yeye ndiye anambadilishaji. Anakutaka tu vile vile ulivyo. Wewe tu surrender tu. Yeye atakusaidia. Kubali. Kubali. Aanze kazi yake. Aanze kazi kazi yake. Wow. Ah wewe surrender. Lakini unajua wengi wetu wanafikiria ga hivyo. Atia mazee sasa hizi hizi okoka acha kwanza niache kuvuta ndomo acha niache kuvuta fegi acha niache mchali yes then I, then I come later but he is the potter he is the one who transforms he is the one who transforms lives 
He's the one, he's who one who knows. Moses. He's the one. Yeye anajua ni matope gani imetoka imengoka ni wapi pamehitaji ku eh, kuongezewa ma eh. Wow. You understand? Wow. So I had to make sure that this woman yani hapana jo. Nikika hivi nifikirie tu agenge nifikirie tu Godfather vile ametamba ametumia do. Na choka. Oh you say you don't they wanna create a bit of movie. Hai kumbuka tu yani bachali za kwanza nilikuwa na bachali mwingine hapo alikuwa ni Hey Jesus sasa hii kitu yote jua niambiani lazima uache hizi vitu zote taacha aje Na ndio zimekubali Nita yani nitaanzaje na ndio unajua mwaka ndio imeanza ni January What? So utaniambiaje niache niache tu hizi vitu zote tu hizi vitu zimewako nimezifanyia kazi niziache tu hivyo But she told me something Akaniambia Test and see that the Lord is good. Just test. Yaani tu onja tu. Usitafune usimeze. Onja ujue kwamba Bwana ni mwema. Onja ujue kwamba Mungu ni mwema. Na kuambia na kuambia siku. Machozi makamasi ilikuwa inatoka hiyo siku. Are you ready now to give your life to Jesus? Mwambie tu yes. 11th January. 12th January. 12th January. 2012. Na wangu digit 12 12 kambi yes. Kukubali. Nyombe. Na chachi linsaidia sana because singetoboa. Unajua ukikuwa the same same place, the same same people. Na wanakujua. Eh, ah uta utatoboa. Unajua ile kitu mtu unaweza kuona kwa kuna situation zingine mtu ameamua kufanya kitu lakini ukiwa na the same same people anakuwa ah wewe chukua hii tu kunywa tu. Moja si mbaya. Ah uh, umeokoka sasa. <laughs> ah totu. Sika hii mm. atinjinga. Mm. Mm. But you have to have that spirit of Jesus. Satan get behind me. Straight up. Straight up. Kutoka. We are no longer negotiating between. Uh-uh. Ah. But you have to have now that focus and you have to believe now this is what I want. Ino kitu nimechoka nime sitaki kuishi hii maisha. Sitaki kuishi maisha ya kudanganyana. Sitaki kuishi maisha ya ku eh? Hiyo maisha yote ambayo unaishi. Mm-hmm. 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 Na chana nayo. Ni chana nayo. Na Na lazima uamue first of all. So hizo zingine zitakaa tu. So nilisaidia kwa sana sana na church. Cuz church ilinichukuaga wakanifungia tu church. Iko gani church? Home kidogo church. Gym. They worked with you. Absolutely. Walikuwa najua mimi nilikuwa kama mali mbaya. Singetoboa. Walikuwa wanahitaji kukushikilia mkono kiasi. Hai walishikilia alinishikilia vilivyo wakanifundisha kuomba wakanifundisha njia mingi sana za kusimama na foundation ilikuwa poa sana because foundation ni the most important thing because when foundation ikikuwa poa hao itasimama so whether kukuwe na baridi kukuwe na moto ile kitu nilikuwa nakwambia mm. ya Paul alikuwa anasema yani hii thorn nitolee juu mm. sahi kuna thorn kubwa sana mm. Mm. most of the things some, sometimes watu wengi wanafikiria kokiokoka god see it em God see it here. Mm. Ati ukipata tu inakuwa ni shida. Mm. Ati shida zote zinatoka. No. Mm. In relationship na lazima i grow. Mm. So lazima uwe na patience. Holy Spirit anakuvujaza na hizo fruits of the Holy Spirit. Mm. Patience, mm. peace, joy, mm. love mm. zote. Mm. Persistence, mm. perseverance, mm. you know, humility. Mm. Understanding this is a journey, it's not a destination. Mm. That where you are right now, Mungu atakutoa hapa atakupeleka kwingine. Mm. Kukuwa na confidence in him who began a good work in you. Mm. That he is faithful to accomplish whatever job ameanza kwa life yako. Mm. Even in marriage, God anaweza ku restore, anaweza sustain. Even ni watoto, God ana restore. Even ni ugonjwa, God ana heal. Yaani areas zote ana take care of. But wow. lazima sisi tumpatie nafasi. Wow. 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 Lazima tumpate nafasi. Mm. Na tumwambie tu yani we cannot but you can. Mm. Like right now mm. kuna watu wamechanganyikiwa. Mm. Sisi tukiwa wamoja wao mm. hatuko na jonini endelea. Mm. Music imekuwa much in affected. Mm. Mimi kazi yangu sahii ni kuimba. Mm. Nilikuwa na do crusades. Mm. Because wakati niliokokaga sasa nilikaaga sasa unajua jani imeanza. Mm. Sema sasa kusota. Mm. Ndio sasa hii ni life ingine tena mpya imekuja. Na kama ni chachi imekushikilia wale mabeste wote lazima sasa wame wameishia wameishia ni sasa we no longer on the same path no wame tutoka kwanza no hata mm. kina nonsa wajui kama mimi niko wapi ama nilipata ball ama nilifanya ama nil dead hawajui wasemo ulijichagulia mwenyewe hawajai jua na wananitafutaga kwanza tulikuwa alikuwa amesikia vibaya sana na mimi 
Jiu, kwa nini unatoka gaje? Mtu tu naumwambi na unajua na unajua plan tulikuwa nazo, you know. But yani angi understand because ni kitu haikuwa na control yangu. Ni kitu singeza kuja kumwambia ati nime make decision ya kuokoka. Ni God tu. God akikuita hiyo time u, 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 yani hauna nguvu yote ya kwenda kurudi kuambia mtu mwingine ati ni hivi ndio nime decide. Lazima kwanza Holy Spirit akujaze akupatie nguvu ya kukuja kukuambia ndio pia wewe usi feel condemned. So imagine ningeenda hiyo time nimwambie. Pengine ange feel ni kama mimi nataka kumuonesha ile like tulikuwa ni ya wadhambi zaidi. Mm. So nimemwacha ni shetani sasa nimeingilia God. Na bado wewe ndio utareach out kwao. Yeah. So God lazima ange deal na mimi kwanza ni side. Nilika four months hawajai niona. Four months ndio na chat tu. Kabisa. Four months kwanza rasmi ndio nilikutana na Ronald. Na nikaanza kumwambia na aka akwa na understand kabisa. Ana shindo mazi ulitotokaje? Yaani wewe una maanisha umeokoka? Yaani kwani si tulikuwa na vimba muziki za shetani ama ni ya mtu hezi understand unaja lazima umu understand that but nilimwambia kitu moja nilimwambia kitu hiko hapa nimeacha kuimbia vitu zimeumbwa nimeanza kuimbia muumba vitu vimeumbwa yeye mwenyewe yeye yeah, mwenyewe kama ni chalini muona ni mpoa na hey, mazee jo god hey, mazee uchali hey, ameweza hey, creation yako ya uchalini noma iko sawa ime sawa mm. rada ni kuanza kuimbia uchali hey, mazee na huwa jalea na kiti yote ya maisha yake yes, yeye alijumba Eh mzee chali wa mtaani eh umenizingua chali sijui na kaa sijui aje basi sasa ni transformation tu ni kwa upgrade tu kuacha kuumbia vitu zimeumbwa unaimbia mumbaji unaimbia mumbaji mumbaji mwenyewe mwenyewe na kumshukuru tu mumbaji that transformation must have been a big one because Aye. i mean I think about it i mean let it be you are right all the way yen ai must have been a very big transformation for you it's a miracle man It's a miracle kwa sababu nani hiyo like nilikuaga hizo mandom nini and you know me I didn't go to any rehabilitation I don't say rehabilitation ni mbaya but yani kwa side yangu mimi sikwenda rehabilitation yote so you've come as an addict you come as all these things how did you manage that yani to... I'm telling you del- Jesus delivered me vile hiyo addiction iliishaga that was God ni Yesu yani if I know yani you, you see like the way people are, are desiring miracles mm. But let me tell you today you can have a miracle maybe ulikuwa kipofu uone kiwete uone lakini uende hell mm. but salvation is the greatest miracle ever wokovu kwa sababu ndani ya wokovu kuna kila kitu the bondage yani the bondage that was destroyed zinakuwa destroyed the chains broken so for you it is a real ah, miracle that you testify miracle kabisa Duni ngifanya wewe wewe niambie wale mabese wako huku huku kwa hii dunia hapa hapa mko nao tuko nao am hizo bes zote za mandomo chete zimefungwa ziko na zijua zile mikono zilikuwa zafanya hii kitu ndio hizi ile mwili ni hii tu niko kwa hii hii dunia how the explanation can only be Jesus worked in you period period and that's what i'm telling you today i know you're going through something that you don't understand even how you come out of or even your children or even the circumstance even this, the situation that we are right now in e pandemic may come kuna wengine hawajui hata watatokaje wengine wako na madeni wengine wamefungiwa manyumba hujui ani hii shimo utatokaje lakini they still hope wow mi kama nilitoka kwa hiyo shimo jo hakuna mtu hizi toka wow it's unbelievable and for you you didn't need to go fast work on yourself to no 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 ulikam venye huko a a nilikam tu vile niko noje kitu moja nili understand ni ati God are you surprised kwa hii situation sasa hii tuko. Na once you understand that God ndio controller wa hii dunia. That he ndio owner. The earth and the fullness of it is for him. It was created for him by him through him. Ni yake. Au au utakuwa na pressure. Kaunda kwenda kuishi petrol station labda. Unataka tu kujaza tu pumzi miguu tu <laughs> but wewe ukijua kwanza hii hii game siwezi hauwezi kuwa depressed and that's why i always encourage someone to get saved because it's only in salvation that you will receive the power of the holy spirit that the holy spirit will give you now the fruits to enable you to overcome everything that in all situation uko na peace 
Wacha zimpisi za mademo na kubomoa kichukaga. <laughs> na si kila siku zinakaa na style mupi. <laughs> Leo zinakuja zime jiroll siku ingine siku zitataka kuchomwa na maji moto. <laughs> you have been very passionate about reaching out to different communities. Yes. And uh, the other day I think I saw something about uh, you you've reached out to prostitutes and yeah. all that. T- tell me about what, what what drove you there and how is that coming? You know, as I was telling you, some people cannot see themselves better off than where they are. And sometimes they use that time and justify evil. So equin wickedness, weakness in a wickedness. Ya devona skim zake. You know I realized that this time vile kumefungwa watoto wengi sana wengine wali they drops from school from schools mm. and uh, so many jobs were lost. lost many many people were yani wali baki tu wako tu hivi you understand mm. Na the only cheapest thing watu wanafikiria first of all ni mwili. Mwili ndio inakuwa na mambo mingi sana. Mm. Kuna tumbo na mwili. Mm. Mwili inahitajiki kila kitu kwa mm. dunia. Mm. Tumbo ndio unaya sawa liuzaga first born yake juu ya hapa. Mm. Manche inakuwa mm. na shida sana. Mm. Hii mm. ndio inafanya watu wanaenda umalaya. Mm. Hii ndio inafanya watu wanaiba, wanadanganya, wanaua. Hii mm. hapa. Mm. Hapa. Mm. Na inaacha kashukurani. Ni katumbu hii. Haina shukurani. Mm. So nilikuja ku understand kwanza tao Mandemo mpata hiyo opportunity because you know each generation yetu hawatai kusikia na si kama ile time nilikuwa nakwambia mm. so hakuna mtu anaweza kuambia kitu yote watoto wako tao ni kuambie wenye waliacha job wenye walikosa job ina kwa tunyo style kama ni kuonecha mali tunaweza pata job haraka haraka saa hizi mwili zinauzwa achipata so mbili so na wanaume wako tu huko wanatafuta tu pia wako because hakuna vile mademo anaweza kuwa tao na hakuna watu wa kwenda kuwa mm kwa fanyio biashara na lazima kuna kuna demand ya service mali so nili happen kwenda huko na best yangu mm. ah ay 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 i was nikaangalia potential ya mademo wako pale mm. unajua mademo ni power mm. god alipoumba hii dunia the only thing that alisema is no good ni sazel alitengeza adam kwa sababu alijua yani imagine nikaituma spartan tau wamekaa tu mm. alijua mwanamke akikuja ataweza kusaidia huyu mwanaume kuweza kufanya hii kitu yote nilimwambia subdue dominate flourish mm. feel feel unaona na mwanaume akiwa pale hivyo mwanaume sio yeye si alitaka mwanamke na mwanaume sio idea mwanamke si idea ya mwanaume mm. mwanamke idea yake ni god mm. na tasa unakuta wanawake wakikuwa wameumia society inaumia na mwanamke ndio ataangusha wanaume wanawake ndio wanaweza inua inchi ama wamalize inchi mm. so ukipata wasena wale wako tao saizi oh my god nilienda huko nikajua kweli tunahitaji ku reach out kwao pia wengi sana because wako hopeless saizi na sisi wote tukijifungia kwa sababu kanisa imefungwa unajua kanisa ina plague part kubwa sana pia mm. Mm. because kanisa ikimefunguliwa kuna vitu mingi sana ambazo zifanyikagi mm. unajua but wengi pia wengine wametoka church pale wako nje sasa wanakuuliza ni kule nini watoto wavae nini watoto wavae nini sasa utawajibu waambie nini but sasa lazima to reach out to them to ambe this is not just the way utafanya hii kazi mpaka lini ni pesa ngapi utakuwa umejekea kwa saa hizi hii mwili ni maua inaharibika inanyauka leo Yesu akija utaenda wapi tarumbete kipigo tu sahihi pa 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 kila mtu lazima asimame statue bali uta kumekaa mimi hivyo itakuwa hivyo itakuwaje but mostly wewe ukikuwa mgonjwa leo jua hata kuna covid au watu unakutana kutana na wao ni watu wengi sana can you imagine wewe life yako iko at risk mtoto wako iko at risk unajifikiria hiyo time but kwa sababu ni manche hauwezi fikiria hiyo kitu so unaona the only way ni kutumia hii nafasi ya saizi kama vile nilitumia ga yangu huko dubai every day kuimba tu unatumia but ile time utakuja kuamka mimi nashukuru Mungu sana because pia God hataki kutumika kutumia watu wazee. Mm. Imagine sana ningekuja nimepigwa, 
nimechapa hapo nimechapa tisa ndio naambia watu bwana asifiwe kwa sababu masida imekukalia ndio umekubali eh hata nikwambie consequences zazibadilikagi hata mm. ukiomeokoka julio mali huko ukiomeiba mkono ikatwe hata uokoke mkono irudige mm. ina baki imekatika imebaki imekatika mm. those are consequences mm. so vile mali huko sasa hizi watu wamefinyika lakini yesu hajafinyika bado kuna tumaini I just went there to tell them that there is hope. Wow. Usife moyo. Watu wako wanakungojea, dunia inakungoja. Mm. So that's why I, I always go there because sometimes people stakai kukaa chini mm. bila kufanya kitu. Mm. Musi gani kama you want to be on the move. Yeah, ni musi gani. Yeah. I fight iwe hivyo. Hata kama sina do kama sasa hivi tumekuwa kwa situation baya sana kama waimbaji. Mm. Mm. Give places zote zile tumekuwa tunaenda kuimba, tunaenda kutafuta kazi, zimefungwa. zimefungwa. Mm. Lakini ndo shukuru Mungu kwa sababu mbinguni jafungwa. Mm. Wow. Mbinguni jafungwa. Kuna lockdown, kuna kafi, kuna mbinguni hakuna kafi. Kuna tumaini. Wow. There is hope. Wow. There is still hope. Wow. God is going to revive us. Right. Don't lose hope. God is still in the business wow. of changing, transforming. Right. And we are here making gold happen. We are going to wow. walk on the gold mine. On the soul, gold man. On the gold mine. Oh man. Shall we hear? You know, as we almost bring this to an end. I mean, you have been on both ends of the spectrum. Hmm. You know what vanity now looks like? Yeah. You know what chasing after the wind now looks like? Hmm. You've had the benefit of both extremes all the way up there. Hmm. If you were to look back Two guys listening to you today and say here is Roger Ule Jamal and Ecclesiastes. He says here is a summation, <laughs> the summary of all these things. <laughs> What would you say mm. are the two core things you'd say in summary? Having mm. been in this journey, mm. I want to leave you with these two words. Mm. Me, I won't talk like him because you know him. He knew where he messed. That's why he says it's vanity. Right. Life is not vanity. Right. The reason Jesus came, he came in this life. Ada is angekuja atuokoe na atupeleke mbinguni tukaishi mbinguni. Tuishie. Eh, mm. but una mtu kama Solo. Solo alikaa pale akabit madema, akafanya vitu zile alifanya. Mm. That's why he saw nothing was important. Mm. Because ali in the wrong side. Mm. But if we are in the good time mm. na kutoka place poor, everything is so meaningful. That's right. why we are on this earth. Right. So, me ile kitu nasema mm. kwa hii summary yote. Mm. Consequences are very painful to pay and they stay and they stay with you and they are unchangeable you cannot change what you have done today but you can change what you, you are doing today right now you cannot change what you did yesterday mm. but you can change what you're doing today mm. for a better tomorrow mm. wow and the bad thing is that ikitu ya jana ulifanya kama utakuwa careful itakuwa itakutoment imagine ulifanya jana ikutaka kutoment leo na ikutoment kesho mm. Lakini ukifanya mema leo mm. itakusaidia kesho kesho kuto baka tukiendaga And the best thing that I've understood now is to know who you are that you are not going to be taken by the wave even ndio kuko even ndio kunaenda even ndio kuna trend mm. mimi nime decide hiyo mambo mm. sitaki mm. You know why ndio nisikuwa na pressure mm sifanyi kazi kwa petrol station sifanyi mambo ya tuna jaza jaza tu pressure ah uh-uh. sitaki mimi nataka ku live kwa ile life niko sasa hizi the last thing si confessigi anything negative mm. because na joy inawezekana mm. so kama niko addicted nilikuwa na joy inaweza because nilifunisho kutoka mwanzo inaweza so you have to start now confessing positivity mm. confessing life mm in life mm. even where there is death mm. speak life right right there is hope no matter where you are there is hope there is hope you can't go too far for God to reach you there is hope there is still hope there is still hope inaka kimeumana umefika mwisho wa reli there is hope there is hope there is still hope there is still hope wow there is still hope hatuwezi kata tamaa hatuwezi kata tamaa yani mimi nashukuru Mungu sana yani because amenionyesha kweli huwezi kata tamaa. Sasa leo mtu wangu huyo mtu nilikuwa nafikiria ni mgumu hiyo wakati. Juku na wengine pia sasa inajua wengi wananiambia gawa mpata mimba kwa sababu ya time ya covid kuna watu wengi sana watu wa shule walipata mamimba. Wanashindwa watoto watakuaje? 
but ukiachia God God anaweza mtu wangu leo ni mtu ali graduate actually i want you to do. how is your daughter doing what is she doing yeah? what's your relationship today ah. with her tell us about that as we bring this to a close man. you know uh, i thank god so very much because of the of the time now when i gave my life to jesus right is when now i understood now the the love right and how to share this love with my daughter right she's my best friend right Ah, my best is like this. Apa, kakola. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes do. Ah, Ivo, na nizu, anajua. Ah, ni mtu wangu wa nguvu sana. Kabisa, Napenda man. vile God amemtumia. Right. Life ile ame, ame choose mm. is the right. Napenda understanding yake, wisdom God anampatiaga. Mm. Ni karembo. Mm. Mungu amekaifadhi. Wow. Ai, alienda university akasoma. Imagine kwetu Uh, yeye ni mtoto mmoja wa example na mama yake yep. alikuwa example mbaya ati yep. wewe ufai kukuwa hivi usikuwe hivi sasa yeye ni lazima ukuwe hivi all in one family <laughs> baba <laughs> huo ndio mungu tu huo ndio mungu, mungu, mungu tu so what is she do? what is she doing campus ah uh, sasa alimaliza amemaliza eh uh, ako inje pia yeye oh out of the country yeah all right so pia yeye ana, ana mungu anamtengenezea ana jenga life yake huko inje uh, amazing doing well fantastic unaona kumbe mungu alikuwa anatayarisha kwa huu mtoto huyu yep ya kwamba maisha yake haitakuwa bila ilivyo. Kabisa. But let me tell you one thing as as nikimaliza. Right. Parents this is something that I understood now when I gave my life to Jesus. Mm. That we can redo the things that we think that we are not done in our lives. Mm. Apart from now speaking against what happened to our lives. Mm. Sasa sasa to make solutions. Solution ni nini? Mm ombea watoto wako because you have to move forward mm. right ombea watoto wako mm. ombea watoto wako mm. waongele wazungumzie ile kitu wewe unataka wakue mm. we have power of life and death come to my kabisa speak life to your children right. show them the ways of god the bible right. says they will not depart from it right. because mimi kutoka ni niokoke ni nilichukua mtu wangu na nikaenda na hiyo jani mm. i've seen fruits wow I've seen. Wow. Ndio yango atakuwa kwa nyumba wewe usifikiria. Kina Linette wanamjua. Mm. They know her. And na unajua ameishia life ya celebrity kwa sababu kutoka awe mdogo ma celebrity wote si ni maanko zake. Kabisa. Ni life amezoea. Ndio familia yake sasa. Ni familia yake kabisa. Lakini ya kuagi na hiyo life. Hata mm. kwa Instagram sio umpatege yuko kwa hiyo she is very different by mm. the way. Mm. Yeye yeah, anataka kwa life yake kusoma na ni msomi. Right. Anaelega kusoma mtabu zake. Mtu mm. wa kwanza kuona ameingia mall amenunua kitabu ya 200 dollars 300 do ni event miss jai ona mimi mwenyewe si singeza kununua mm. labda ni niweki watu but unaona yeye anataka kusoma na kujua zaidi mm. so me i encourage you wherever mm. you are mm. watoto wetu ni gift mm. tuwaombeeni mm. cause hii generation tuko nayo sasa hizi cause sometimes tunakuwa tuna atuko na ile atuko na ile nafasi kubwa sana ya kucontrol watoto wetu kwa sababu ya social media mm. Ni aidha wewe umfunze ile kitu unajua kupitia Roho Mtakatifu. Ajue na uwe rafiki yake. Si ana kuogopa, uwe rafiki yake. Umwambie ukweli kwa sababu ukweli utamweka huru. Naye baadaye hiyo gift itakuwa gift kubwa kwa life yako. Wow. Because if you, if you if you're not a friends, me ndoto yangu ni friend yangu sana. Mm. Akuna kitu sio atuongeage. Mm. She's my very good friend. Munaekelea yote juu ya mimi. Eh, tuongee. Hivi ndio kuko na yeye ananiambia hivi mama ndio kuko. Yaani ni best yangu sio ongea. Mm. Na sitaka kupitia ile kitu nilipitia. Mm. Na hawezi pitia. Kabisa. Nashukuru God. And you are covering her in prayer. Blood of Jesus. You know I'll actually do something we've not done on the Goldman show. You've talked hope a lot. Mm. And you've talked about the power of Christ a lot. I actually want you to look at that camera. Mm. And I want you to do two things. Mm. I want you to pray for someone who is feeling I'm at the end of the road. Mm. I don't know where to go from here. I don't know what next. Mm. I want you to pray for them. Yeah. But also number two, should you led to feel led to pray for someone who wants to give their lives to Christ? Absolutely. I also want you to do that as well. Absolutely. You never know why we had this show. You never know we had this conversation. Mm. If this show was going to give hope to someone, mm. was going to turn someone else's life around. Mm. And most importantly was get going to get one soul to Christ. Mm. So be it. Amen. There is your cover. Oh, hallelujah. Indeed it's an amazing uh time to just think about your life and know that God loves you wherever you are. I know maybe you're going or passing through so much nikitumambo mob sana inapitia kwa life yako sasa hii right now. Where ambao uko pale yani you feel like you're hopeless. Like right now there is another wave that has come and people feel like kia pana hii fungua inchi sijui nini no. Let me tell you one thing. 
stop murmuring. God is still on the throne. He has never left his throne. He has never been gotten in any surprise. He is full of power. The blood of Jesus has never lost his power. It has power to transform your life right now. It has power to restore your life right now. He is a God of miracles, signs and wonders. He is not God consistent. So if you're there and you feel like you've lost it, there's no more hope. I want to give you this as a testimony of my life. That today, even though I was thinking that I'm useless, that I lost nine years, I still celebrate and give all the glory to God. Because when I see my daughter, when I see my family, when I see my mother today, how they smile, how they thank God for the grace and the mercies that he has shown my family in life. Today my daughter is yuko njia inchi. Sikuwa nimefikiria aga kitu kama hiyo kwa life yangu. But God is not a favorable God. He doesn't favor people. I am not special than you are. God loves you wherever you are. And I want to pray for you right now, wherever you are, in whatever condition you're, you're facing to, or facing or going through right now. And for you also, that want to give your life to Jesus Christ. Yani uko palo mefiliani jo leo, acha ni mjaribu tui yesu. Kama vile ledibia liambio, test and see that the Lord is good. Today, this is the greatest opportunity for you here, right now, to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You will never regret it. Because this is the greatest and the biggest miracle ever. So if you're there, let us pray together and just believe together with my brother. As we have faith, and if you have no faith, simama tuko imani yetu. Just stand in our faith in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for this great opportunity that mm-hmm. you have given us, Father, mm-hmm. to stand and speak boldly of the journey that you have given unto us. For Father, you know everything from the beginning and the end. You saw things from the beginning to the end, Father. Thank you because, Father, you are a restorer. Thank you even though I passed through the, 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 the shadow of death. Master, I have seen your word. I've seen your hand. I've seen your power. And today, in the name of Jesus, I know the same power that resurrected Jesus is at work in that house, in that home, in that office, in that family, Father, that they are crying, that they are hopeless, Master. That this day, Father, even in our country, our nation, Kenya, that Kenyans are crying, Master. I thank you because you have good plans for us. You are a restorer. You restored my life. I know you are able because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You restored Job's life, Father. You made him have the best children, the most beautiful children after the ones he had. He had lost everything but see you God the restorer of life you restored that life of job and gave him everything more than what he had and you can still do it today father we saw you Jehovah my father doing great things in so many lives father and today you can still do it in so many lives right now I pray for that soul that wants to give to you master that they are there and they're crying they are just desperate they are addicted father that you may break the chains that you may set them free in the mighty name of jesus christ father as they pray together with me this prayer may holy spirit may you guide them may you give them the right place to grow and have a firm foundation knowing that jesus you're coming soon that you may take us all for your glory if you're there, you want to receive Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this day. I thank you for this day. I come to you today. I come to you today. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. And wash my sins and away. Wash my sins I away. confess with my mouth. Confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. That Jesus Christ and is Lord. And I believe in my heart. And I believe in that my heart. God raised Him from death. That God raised Him and from death. And today. Today, I renounce the works of the devil. I renounce the works of the, I devil. Renounce the, works of the devil. I, the I am the born, devil. Again. I'm born again. If you have prayed that prayer, welcome to the kingdom of God. It's that simple. The Holy Spirit is there with you. He's going to control everything. He's going to guide you. And guess what? You have to come and testify. Because he who has a son has a testimony. Glory to Jesus. Karibu <laughs> sana. Hallelujah. Well, man, thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you Jesus. You. Well, no better way to end today's show than to remind you, man, this begin, becomes the first day of the rest of your life. No matter where you've been at, no matter what you've been through, you cannot quit on you. You cannot lose hope. The very God that worked in Lady B yes. 
is still at work and even in your life. Give him a chance. Give him the space. And I pray that then becomes a great chapter from today for the rest of your life, man. Unfortunately, that's about all the time that we had for today. Lady B, thank you for coming through, man. Thank you. <laughs> that's the man. Follow us on the Goldmine Show on Facebook, on Instagram, as well as on YouTube. And let's together keep building a great community that believes in the greatness inside of us, man. As I would like to say it on the Goldmine Show, even, uh, even covered under discouragement, it is still gold. Covered under addiction, it is still gold. gold. Covered sometimes under hopelessness, it, it still, still remains gold. to be gold. Just because it doesn't seem to glitter today, mm. does not make it any less gold. Mm. But you might as well then believe in it yes. and refuse to quit on it mm. and keep working mm. at it. Mm. Until next time, God bless you. Mm. Keep working the gold that you are, man. Yeah, yeah man.